Dearest Thomas, these are not words I wish to write. My father has learned of our plans, my love. Yet there is more, far worse, that I wish you to understand, but I fear you may believe me taken with madness. My father seeks to use me, as I have come to believe he used my poor mother. He wishes me to sing for him as she did, to become the star attraction that will draw good folk to this accursed spit of land. My refusal to do so has led to my confinement here at Scare Hotel. I cannot explain further, but ask that you trust me. I beseech you to compose a melody for me, a counter to the song contained within this locket of my mother's. I realize this request will seem strange, that your first thought will be to come straight here, but without your composition, all hope of holding back the darkness gathering here will be lost. Your love, always, Elizabeth. in no small part due to my newfound fame and fortune that we were able to open Scare Hotel and embark on the charitable work which... Mother? Mother? Darling, can't you see I'm recording? What have I told you? Never to interrupt when the door is closed. I'm sorry, Mother. Well, no harm done. I shall record this again later. But while you're here, my darling, why not sing for me? Of course, Mother.
Thomas! My Thomas! You do not know how wonderful it is to hear your voice. I'm safe upstairs, but I cannot leave the attic. I've had to lock and bar the door, hide away from the others. My father and uncle, the staff, they have been beguiled by the darkness that inhabits this place. They are no longer themselves, but stalk these halls, attacking anyone that makes a sound. I do not have the words or heart to voice it. It is far too terrible to recount. Please be careful, my love. This place is no longer safe. I prayed that you received it, hoped that you would come. I know my request must have seemed strange, and I fear it was all for naught, that everything has changed now. Please, Thomas, listen carefully. Together we can put a stop to all of this. My father made recordings on brass cylinders of a song, a strange melody that affects the mind. If all of the cylinders are played together on the harmonium, this madness will end. You need to find them and bring them to me. Oh, uh, take all hills! Is that filthy mongrel inside again? Father, she still pines is all. She misses... I'll give it a reason to pine. Come here, you mutt! Abraham? Abraham! Where is that useless brother of mine? Father, please! Please, she just misses mother. Abraham! Abraham! I'll be rid of this dog once and for all.
Please help me. Uh, who's there? Who are you? Henry. Henry Hughes. You must get me out. Hurry. We must get this door open. Why do you think? They're clearly rogues. They're trying to kidnap me. Please hurry. Do something. What? No! No, don't leave me! They might return any minute. Oh, do something! I can't break it down from my side. Good. Good. Try again. Harder, man! Throw yourself into it! Wait. No. They're coming. Oh, God, please, no! No, don't do this! Whatever you want, I...
now, Uncle. Oh, don't stop, lass. Go on. I enjoy hearing you practice. <laughs> You've nearly as fine a set of lungs as your mother. How dare you? Get out! Get out of here now! I'm just my father's oafish tool. Tool, am I? What the fuck do you know about it? <laughs> no. That will be you, lass. You'll soon see. Mark me when I say that the only instrument here is you. I said get out. Go! Go on, leave me be. Of course. That's her hoity-toity fucking ladyship commands. God, that man! <sighs> but what did he mean? Someone else in the attic outside the door, but uh, I think they've gone now. I don't, but you must look to yourself first, Thomas. If 
You should be caught too. They seem to be drawn to sound. You must remain quiet. Dear God, that's horrific. I dread to think of you being snatched like that too. Our one hope of helping him, helping all of them, is finding the cylinders. Well done, my love. There's hope yet for us all. The others should be here in the hotel or in the grounds. But why? What do you think is wrong with them? I knew noise attracted them, but what happened to their faces? Please, take the utmost care. And if I don't answer, it means I've had to hide, that they've come back. Thank <laughs> you.